Okay, now we're going to go to step 5, PID tuning. You can do this with the multiware on the test track, um, but this, this time I'm just going to go through the mission planner and do this. Just like this. So, um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to open the mission planner software and check the tuning on this. Let's see here. Oh, bump this over here. Open the mission planner. Okay, and we can see, first we're going to go to config and tuning. And then we're going to go to, I'm going to go to, yeah, config and tuning, extended tuning, and the screen should look up just like this. Okay. And now what we're going to do is just look at the instructions and follow the values that are on there. Let me see if I can just put this on here. I'll show you the right values here. So, um, yeah, perfect. All right. So our first rule, the first one we're going to look at is going to be right here, our P, I, and D. So the P, you can see, is going to be 1.5, or 0 0.15. The I, 0 0.05. The D, 0 0.008. And so on. I'll just go through these. Let me just check these all. Okay, so that's good to go. Now over here, we have the pitch and roll, or the pitch, the rate pitch, excuse me, 0 0.150, we have the I at um, 0 0.050, and the D at 0 0.008. And now we have the throttle rate at 5. Oh yeah, so this is actually different from what shows up on here um, in the instruction manual. The instruction manual, for example, says, um, it says 8.50, so, okay, but basically what we're trying to do is we're going to basically lower that to the lowest amount that will go. Which in this case is actually a lot lower than... Oh, I think 5 is the max, right? If I put an 8.5, right, I click away at this. It says the R rate value is out of range. Do you want to accept the new value? So we press yes. So, oh, interesting. It actually does accept the rate. Okay, so we're going to go with that. Next we have our P rate as 0.2, we have the I rate, point, oh, we don't, we, none of these are changed. We got down here to P, which is 1.4, type that in, and that goes up to 1 max, so we're good to go there. <clears throat> Next we have the I, the P, I, and D over here, which you have 1.1. Uh, which goes down to 1, and then we have 0.6, and our D is good at 0. Also, the PIP or loiter, 1.75. Check that. Oh, and that goes back to 1. Okay. All right, let me just double check those numbers. When we're done, I'm going to press right parameters. All right, we're good to go. So as soon as that unhighlighted, um, yeah. So, like, we're, let us go back to the instructions. So, as we can see, this is kind of the reason why we want to have the test track because we can tune and test these uh, PIDs and settings to tune the craft exactly how you want. It. Um, but in this tutorial, I won't, I won't do that. Um, <clears throat> so it says you'll need to adjust all the tuning values to match the image below. We did that, and that's that's basically it for PID tuning. So. Basically set those values and you'll be good to go. Okay, that's it for now.